Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we are going to talk about yet another Postman's new feature called as Postbot. If I already worked with Postman, you probably know that there are so many different features available in Postman and their recent feature which was introduced in Postman was the Postman's own performance testing option which will help you do performance testing of your API. I have already released a video about it and that is available in this particular link over here on this particular video. But in this particular video, we are going to talk about the Postman's all new Postbot feature which is an artificial intelligence based feature which can help you write automation test or the Postman test using the AI pretty much like how you can work with chat GPT which help you create the test so this post part feature is in public beta right now and it is completely available for everyone I mean if you have postman account you can just use that pretty much like how you can use like me which I'm going to show you in this particular video and I'm completely mind blown with this particular feature and I'm going to show you how awesome the feature is. As you can see in this particular page over here it tells you the post part is now available in open beta try it today and I have actually seen how this particular feature is already there and it is quite awesome as well and I'm going to show you how I wrote this whole test as you can see over here without writing even a single line of code using the new postman's post bot feature which is the AI based feature as you can see over here I have written like quite a lot of tests well I am not writing all these tests over here. These are all written by the post bot in a much, much simpler fashion. In order to achieve this whole thing, all I have did over here is I executed my application under test, which is going to basically hold all my API definitions, as you can see over here. And I'm just going to go grab this swagger.json file and I'm going to go to the postman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the existing project and I'm going to do an import and I'm going to paste the swagger uh, over here and then I'm gonna import into a collection that's gonna create me a, a GraphQL product app copy and using this particular copy I'm just gonna go and click this three dots over here and this time you will see that you're gonna have a new generate tests option which is in beta right now so this is new which is not there before and this is new so I'm gonna go and hit this generate test and you will see that it's gonna show you that there are no tests available over here before I hit this generate test button, I'm actually going to do some changes in my collection because as you can see here, it's all parameterized with like ID. So I'm going to give the ID as one. Similarly, ID as one over here. And for the create component, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to get the product by name and over here for the name, I'm going to change this to keyboard. And I think we're pretty much done over here. Uh, so for the create, I'm just going to leave this as it is for now. Uh, I'm just gonna expect some failure there. I'm gonna show you some failure scenarios as well. So I have did all these changes over here. I'm just gonna save all of them. And now we can go back to this three dots over here and I'm gonna hit this generate tests. And this time when I hit this generate test button there, you will notice that all the artificial intelligence things kick in. So you see that it's all just doing things for us automatically. So it is writing all the tests for me over here. And there are some failures there. It says that looks like the server written a bad response. So uh, we could see that there is a failure there and the value int is not valid for the get component by ID. Oh, there we go. looks like we have not supplied the value there. So I'm just going to pass in for this value and we can go back to their test once again and we'll see what is really going on there. Oh, see, I have not passed that value and I think that's all. So I'm gonna go back to my test generation over here and hit this generate test. And now you will see that these tests are being generated over here. Do you see that? There are so many tests being generated automatically. I mean, I have not written even a single line of code there and I say that response status card is 200. So it's verifying that and validate the response body is an array and product ID is a non-negative integer value and the manufacturer field should be null or an array. So it has written almost all these things for me. And guess what? While there is a failure there, let's say there is a create component failure, you can also write the test for the bad responses. There is a suggestion created by the AI for you to write the test for the bad responses as well. You can expect this bad response, so that is not harm really. And you can do that over here. This is quite awesome. And once you have all these things, guess what? I'm actually gonna write all the bad uh, scenarios over there, which is fine totally. 
and I'm gonna save all these tests over here. And now you will go back to your tests over here. And once I go to this particular place, as you can see, I can see all the tests gonna come up. But now you also have an option to create the script with the post bot. So this is the post bot which I was gonna talk about really. Uh, once you hit this, you can now interact with the post bot pretty much like how you do with the real time chat GPT. For example, if I want to uh, uh, see what is the response that's gonna come up while I execute this particular test over here, you see that I just get all the plain things over here. Guess what, I'm gonna take another uh, endpoint and if I run this, you see that this is a complex scenario or complex response coming up. And you can see that it says that there is a product ID of this, uh, the name, and there is a component array. And within this components array, we have got a manufacturer's array. And within this manufacturer's array, we have got address array. Now I need to test if this particular components array has got a manufacturers with, uh, with the components as zero. So if I want to write this test, how do I write this? Well, guess what? I'm gonna ask the AI to do that for me. So we'll go step by step and we'll get there what I'm gonna achieve really. So the first test which I'm gonna ask the post bar to write is this. I'm gonna say add the test to this request to verify if the manufacturers is under the components array. So that is my first test which I wanted to uh, add basically. So I'm gonna go put a enter there and now I'm gonna hit this thing and you see that the tests are being generated for you. It says that verify manufacturers is under the components array and now it has written the code for me automatically. So now if I do a send, you see that we have this particular test being executed. So don't worry about the failure test which are already happening. So we will get to that later, but you can see that this test is automatically added for you by this particular post part. And now let's say we're gonna add another test. Say if I wanted to add the test in such a way that uh, add the test to this request and verify if the manufacturer is under the component array and the manufacturer has more than one address. So you can see that we have the manufacturers and then this manufacturers we have got uh, two address. So I'm gonna verify if this particular manufacturer has got two address in them. So I'm gonna hit send this time. So sorry, I'm gonna hit enter this time over here and you will see that the test is going to be added for me over here. So hopefully it is added. Oh, there we go, you see that? So it is gonna grab the components array and then it's gonna do a for each loop there and then it is gonna get the manufacturer and then this manufacturer is gonna do another for each and then it is gonna grab the address. Guess what? I have not even told even a single line of code or a single line of location that this particular uh, manufacturer is an array and then go and iterate through the manufacturer's array and get the address array, something like that. It's all automatically being taken care by this particular uh, AI, the post AI itself, and it is adding all those things for me. So once I now save these tests and if I try executing it, you see that? this test is also being executed for us automatically, which is quite mind blowing to be honest. And if I want to go even further deep, let's say you can see that all the manufacturers has got a component ID of zero, all the places. So if I want to verify that, I can do that as well. So I'm just gonna go and say, all right, just go and verify that the component ID is zero in all the manufacturers that I have got. So. Uh, I'm gonna go and execute that over here. So let's see if that test is being added. There we go. That is also being added and it says that this particular manufacturer for each uh, to expect the component ID to equal to zero. And that is also done for me. Uh, oh, there we go. It says there is a failure there, but guess what? I think the manufacturer component ID to equal is correct. I think the test should be something like this really because it should be the manufacturer component ID to equal to zero and once I execute that you see that the test is passing. So basically I modified the test a bit uh, just to accommodate that and yeah that is working fine as well. So this is how the AI is going to help us do all these tests much much easily without us writing even a single line of code. I mean you can keep digging even further like I have asked like uh, what if I wanted to verify if the 
the time taken uh, is less than eight milliseconds or something like that i mean you can do that as well uh, so you can just say verify if the response is less than uh, 10 second and if i hit execute there uh, and you will notice that there is a test being added for me like time less than 10 second so that is also doing uh, for me pretty much like over here so you can pretty much like interact with postman pretty much like how you do with the chat gpt and you will have all the tests being added and you can execute all the tests in one single place as i shown you using this generate test option and that's all gonna work for you over here so this is the real power of this new post part of the postman which is going to help us write all the different tests and not only that as i told you before using this particular option and the other option that we have which is going to help us run this whole collection not just over here in functional but also the performance i mean this is quite awesome i mean we can just set this whole ramp up option of time duration and if we execute this all these tests is going to be executed as a part of this execution and we know that our APIs are working fine or not. And at the end of the day, we'll have a complete mind blown performance test execution as well as the whole coverage of our test execution of the API with the, all the responses that we are expecting and what the former should be. Like everything is being covered over here. And this whole natural language interaction to write the test using the AI is quite awesome. So this is the real power, guys. Just let me know what you think about the new Postman's post part and how this AI is really transforming or helping you to write the test in much better fashion. We'll probably discuss about what are the other options is available in Postman's AI. And I know this is in beta stage. There is going to be even more features coming up pretty soon. But for now, this is quite awesome. That's it, guys. Once again, Thank you so much for watching this video and hope you like this particular feature. We'll talk about some other features coming up in Postpart later in this particular channel. But for now, this is it. We have once again, thank you so much and catch you in the next one.